All right, well, shall we start by introducing ourselves? Yeah, I think that sounds good. All right, well, I'm Constanza Hagemeyer, Bishop of the South Dakota Synod, and who are you? <laughs> and I'm, I'm Joel Paik, and I'm the new uh, director for rural ministry in the South Dakota Synod. Wow, well, it's good to be with you. Good to be with you, too. <laughs> what are we talking about, huh? Well, we're talking about Farm to Table at Grand Valley Lutheran, Lutheran Church. Inc. Rural Canton. Rural Canton, yeah. And I haven't been there yet. Well, I was there shortly after I was elected. Okay. Um, usually, um, I, I go for happy occasions. This was the first one where I was called in because their long-term interim pastor, yeah. retired, had suddenly died. Oh. So I got the word on like a Thursday afternoon and I showed up Sunday morning to just lead them in worship and we gathered in the fellowship hall which is their or was their worship space at that time and that's really when my journey with Grand Valley began they had for decades been served by retired clergy that they sort of contracted with and we challenged them to think about in call process. Yeah. And so they did. They did think about a call process and they actually got to interview pastors that were looking for a call and they called Pastor Shelley Gearing to start part time. And as the Holy Spirit does, then they are, I think, up to full time. That's great. Pastor Shelley Gearing. So, wow. yeah, it's quite the story. So when we always look for a place to host farm to table dinner, mm -hmm. um, this was one of the locations that said, pick us, pick us. Yeah. And um, the second time around now, we said, why not move there? So they're ready for us. That's great. September 8th. September 8th. And so farm to table dinner is an opportunity to raise funds for rural ministry here in the South Dakota Synod mm -hmm. and um, there's maybe uh, maybe a question people might ask is well didn't we get this million dollar grant for yeah. rural ministry why do we need to raise funds that's right, right. yeah and so great question what does this mean <laughs> what does this mean right yeah yeah, yeah. good well uh, number one it means that yes we did get the um, the $1.1 million um, through the Lilly Foundation. And we're grateful because of the vision that they embraced and supported. And, um, but it's also funding for a limited amount of time. And yeah. we need to think about sustainability and mm -hmm. how are we going to fund and sustain rural ministry in South Dakota as we move beyond the grant. So that's, that's one vision, mm -hmm. um, and that's long-term. Short-term, as um, many of you know and have experienced it yourself, the Canton area has experienced flooding. Mm -hmm. It's not the first disaster in South Dakota, mm -hmm. it'll not be the last disaster, but as the South Dakota Senate um, we show up together and one of the ways we show up is through the star grants which are small town and rural grants and through disaster response and that's where the money goes yeah so this this money that we're raising through the farm to table dinner and experience is something that goes right back into these pools yep uh, and allows um, this new position of director for rural ministry to have some resources to then bring to yep. those tables and those communities, mm -hmm. and 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 funding those those pieces for sustainability because yep. the the grant is limited in its time. It's mm -hmm. it's three and a half years and its scope. Yep, yeah, exactly right. But this allows for that sustainability to happen, that scope to be even broadened even further and the need is there yes the need is there right and so this just allows for that to happen and and is exciting for me because it gives me more tools 
That's right. To to bring to the people of South Dakota, of the South Dakota Synod all across yeah. the state. So, yeah. I mean, the, the grants have funded anything from computers that are essential to print Sunday morning bulletins to um, to disaster response to a system that just went out and these are unexpected expenses that yeah. congregations have and in some odd way shape and form they do sustain ministry Chris who likes to be freezing in his church in the middle of the Christmas service right, right. yeah right yeah exactly right yeah so it's 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 great because that, that, that initial fund that we have from the Lilly Grant allows for um, the, this position, these rural ministry liaisons, some other infrastructure pieces, but the money that we raise at the farm to table dinner really goes right back into the yeah. congregations. Yeah, it's uh, nothing will stay. We're really kind of a yeah. pass through. We, we pay, of course, the expense of the event, yeah. but anything above and beyond will not be paying for, you know, keeping Pastor Joel warm yeah, right. or feeding the bishop. Um, yeah. It's strictly gone. So all of the money raised after all expenses are paid go right back to support ministry and congregations. Yeah. I can't wait to welcome you all to the farm to table dinner. Um, I'm just excited. Can't wait. Yeah, me too. All right. We'll see you soon. See you soon.